very good talk. We, we agreed that we weren't going to talk about what we said, but we had a very, very good talk. It was a warm talk. Uh, I enjoyed it. I hope he enjoyed it, too. And it was short. It was 15 minutes. Uh, Did he have good suggestions? Anything that you're going to do? Well, he had suggestions. It doesn't mean that I agree with those suggestions, but certainly he had suggestions. I think one of the great things about America is that we can fight it out um, on a campaign trail, but uh, Americans are patriotic people, and these are leaders, um, President Trump obviously being gracious, and, John, and Joe Biden wanting to make the call. Well, you know what, uh, Let's Dana, see if they can not, come up with anything. The, the IFB here just cut out, but I, I think I got the gist of your question, and that is oh, okay. the, the <laughs> give and take my and mind. the John Carl, uh, President Trump moment there. Um, so I'm going to guess that that's what you're talking about and the interaction between the president and the reporters. Um, listen, those are legitimate questions that they're asking. Kristen Fisher asked a legitimate question the other day on substance, um, and the president, you know, pushes back very hard on things that he perceives as an attack. Um, I, I think, you know, John Carl is not a third-rate reporter. Um, he's been around. He's the president of the White House uh, uh, Press uh, Correspondents Association. Um, those give and takes uh, are the president in his element, uh, and I think we're going to see more of that. We'll mm -hmm. see if we see it today. Uh, he was a bit salty yesterday, it seemed, uh, to some of those questions at the press briefing. And that is me interpreting what your question was because I can't <laughs> hear you currently. So with that, I'll toss it back to you. It is hard to read my mind. I was actually asking about Joe Biden's phone call with President Trump. But that was a great answer about the back and forth with the press corps yesterday in the briefing. Uh, Brett Baer, thank you.